WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN. Uh, stuttered for a moment. It's 2 p.m. Eastern time. It's Fed Day. We're getting a decision as we speak. The numbers are going to roll in. I got the chart up here, and you're seeing a little bit of an oscillation in both directions as the, the market awaits the news. And higher we go for a few minutes, folks. We got the S&Ps up by two points right now off of that number. S&Ps right now trading at 45.86. That's down by 10 points on the session. We get the NASDAQ 100 off by 97 points. You get the Dow right now flat and the Russell positive by seven. You're going to see some volatility, man. It's going to be coming. Uh, some of the quotes already hitting the newswire, we'll call it. So they hike by 25 basis points. Okay, some of the quotes there. The FOMC will continue to assess additional information. Shouldn't be a surprise, right? What have we been, been saying on my program in the morning? We get two full months of data before the September meeting. No matter what gets said here, and boy, the market seems to always take away whether he's a hawk or not, or a dove, uh, we got two full months of data that's coming down before the September meeting, two full months of retail sales, two full months of inflation data in there, and uh, yeah, they will continue to assess additional information. Market right now, not sure what to do, man. Uh, market basically flat off of that news number with the S&Ps trading flat right now. You take a look at notes and bonds. We take a look at yields. You got the tenure. Right back to where we were. These are one-minute bars that we're looking at to try and see the volatility as we're getting into it. Uh, yeah, 111.25 with the 10-year market is basically flat. Takes it in stride, man. Uh, the Fed pauses. They're going to continue to assess the information as it comes in. You have a target rate right now of five and a quarter to 5.5 percent, and the market catches a slight bid now. Boy, it's going to be interesting, man. I'm going to be coming back here for the first half hour. Okay, I'll do a couple segments. We'll break down some of the moves as we get the market action on the heels of this Fed interest rate hike. Five and a quarter to 5.5%, man. Quite a risk-free rate of return on a short-term basis. We jump over to the two-year right now. ZT is that symbol. A little bit of higher price, lower yield on the two-year, actually. Markets digesting the news. And then we're going to have Chairman Powell's press conference live on Tiger TV coming up in a half hour at 2.30. So stay tuned, folks. I'm coming back live right now. We'll have Chairman Powell live at 2.30. We got my dad, Tom O'Brien, coming up live at 3 o'clock. It's Fed Day. Uh, we got a hike. It's expected. Chairman Powell coming up. I'll be right back, folks. Stay tuned. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. 